What is good y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I am having a Bobby sub from Capriati's, a uh, local uh, sandwich shop here in Delaware. Um, salt and vinegar chips and I wasn't gonna go, I was trying to lay off a soda and I'm, gonna, I'm making a rule for myself going forward. This is the only time I have a soda because this is the one meal that like, like it goes well with pizza absolutely no arguments there um and i might have sprite with pizza but cherry pepsi the only time i will have brown soda is with this sandwich it's just it just is that that's just how it's done anybody who's had it knows how it's done cherry pepsi salt and vinegar just bobby sub bobby sub is got um sh uh, hand pulled uh turkey in there it's basically thanksgiving in a sub it's it's just the way to go um you like say your hand shredded turkey in there stuffing a uh, little mayo cranberry sauce it's thanksgiving in a sandwich i'm ready to dig in um i've been wanting it since i picked it up um let's see if you can get a good inside shot of it boom there you go let's go and dive in here mm. balance in a sandwich is what this is <laughs> Goodness gracious, oh man, it just hits. And when I say balance, everything I mentioned in there is just in perfect unison. I remember one year I had to work on uh, Thanksgiving and so I wasn't able to have it with my family but so the night before Thanksgiving I went and got Bobby sub for Thanksgiving so I got for work and it hit perfectly it was like you know it's obviously like spending time with your family but I remember that was a nice little Thanksgiving treat That's a winner. That's a winner. Now there's a local place also, the people in the tri-state probably know about Wawa. They have a little thing called the Gobbler. No. Not even, not even, and even the same ballpark, and even the same sport. You know what I mean? We're not even, it's two different things. Anytime I bring the bar, anytime somebody brings up the gobbler, first off, the gobbler is just like, and no offense to Wawa, Wawa is cool, it works, it's good, but Wawa is like hobby kid sandwiches. This is done with care. This is old school family business sandwich shop. The mayo, the cranberry, the stuffing, the turkey. Mm, mm, mm.
And the drink, I know, I know we're here for the food a lot, but I think anyone can agree. The drink that goes with your food, and this is not talked about enough, the drink that goes with your food is just as important as the food. The, cran the cherry Pepsi with the Bobby Sub is like wine with, with pasta. It's like wine with Italian food. It's like, it, it just goes together. You know what I mean? It's like coffee and a bagel, coffee and a donut. You know, the way coffee just hits with your morning meal. Certain drinks are just essential. Now, some like some meals you can be flexible and go here, there, and then you can always go to water. A water is a staple; it works, but it's just kind of the standard. And I'm all for that. I do drink water. I make sure I keep the water going during the day. For somebody who suffers from joint pain in my neck, water does help. But listen, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's like it's like beer with your pizza. If you if you if you're into watching football on Sundays, you know it just goes together. The bread, I forgot to talk about the bread. The bread's perfect. <clears throat> Excuse me. A person who had this first, and listen, I'm not the only one who feels like this. Ask anybody that's been to Capriati's and had the Bobby, I guarantee you, eight out of 10 will say salt and vinegar chips. And then most of those people will say, at least, if not a cherry Pepsi, definitely a soda. Soda just, it just goes with, I've heard people say it. I'm not, I'm, I'm that's, that's how you know that's real. When, when you have a combination of three different things, and everybody's like, anytime I talk about it, they're like, yeah, you get the cherry, you gotta get, get the salt and vinegar chips with it. Always. Always. It's a must. It's a must. And yes, I do have to put the cap back on every time. Maintain what any level of freshness I can in it. I don't know. Some, like, even with soda now, y'all notice that first hit was just like, yeah. But it, it soda doesn't do it for me anymore after that, but it still works well with this sandwich regardless. Mm. Money in the bank. That's all I got to say. Peppers and sausages, beer. Certain thing, beer. Cherry Pepsi with the Bobby. Coffee with your breakfast. It's just, we need to appreciate the drinks that complement the meal. And shout out to water for being there.
Gotta come. I got a snack with a movie review coming up in a couple days and tomorrow or next day after that. Excited about doing that. Blending two things that have consistently excuse me, made me happy. Movies and food. And also can make, you know, they've been there for me. When, when you're in your not so great spots. Using the things that I love. Tell y'all, when you find something that makes you happy, don't let it go. Do not let it go. You've got a good meal you go to anytime you go to a restaurant. Don't switch it up. I go to this place, I always get the number, whatever. Go get number whatever. That works for you. When you start taking these chances, look, I'm all for mixing it up every once in a while. <clears throat> but when I go to Chinese food, I remember one time, I always get general sauce, but well, ever since I've had it. But I remember one time I didn't get it. I got like, I think like, what are you, like sesame chicken? Because I used to have that when I was a little kid. And I got on General Tso's and then there was no turning back. I got sesame chicken randomly one time. And I was like, why did I do that? Like, there's nothing wrong with it, but like... No. Jeez, oh, excuse me. Whew. That's so oh my goodness. But yeah, like, don't switch it up. Capriati's also makes a really, if you're in the area, if you're checking them out, Scott, I don't like turkey. Fair enough. I don't like, you know, that doesn't appeal to me. I get it. That's cool. It's not for everybody. This isn't for everybody. They got a great Italian. They make a great Italian there. Um, what they do, their cheesesteak is very good. It's not my favorite local cheesesteak, but it's probably top five-ish. I would probably, I would put it up there. Top five. Off the top, yeah. Uh, their meatball sandwich, if you're into that type of thing, that's not my bag. Um, a little bit too messy, but make a great meatball sandwich. They pretty much do everything very good there. They also have an impossible cheesesteak. Not as good as mine, but I mean. Mine is better than theirs. Mine is better. But yeah, thank you guys. I uh, appreciate you joining me today for a few minutes. For this lunch slash dinner. Mukbang. Another fun word to say. Mukbang. some of this tasty beverage to wash this down. I hit the spot. Ooh. Guys, thank you again for joining me today. I greatly appreciate your time. Jeez, I've been doing this. This is a longer video than normal. Thank you for joining me today, guys. I greatly uh, appreciate your time. Hope y'all take care, be well, and have a great day rest of your week and rest of your day. See y'all soon.